My name is Anna Bryson, and I am a project designer for Michaels. Um, today we are going to make, and I just put the glue on my sample here, so I apologize um, if hopefully one, none of them fall off, but this awesome um, alien painting, maybe I can show it better down here. Yeah, because I literally just put my aliens on, so my, my glue's still wet. Um, for this project, I'm going to move him aside. For this project, you are going to need several items. And I'm cleaning up my space here so I can help out here. Okay, you are going to need a craft box, which is kind of big, so it's hard to show, but it's um, this big blue box. It's got lots of cool stuff in it, lots of basics like um, pom poms. And um, here's the, here's like the, here's the, um, what do you call it, the label. So it's got pom poms, woods, you know, all kinds of stuff in here, all kinds of crafting basics. So it's perfect for this project. Um, we are going to need, let's see, uh, construction paper. And this is just a rainbow of colors. You can use any, you know, anything that you want. If you don't have these specific ones and you have other colors, that's perfect. If you have neons, pastels, whatever. Um, if you have colored cardstock, if you have scrapbook paper, all of those things work. Or even just colored foam from your kit. These guys here, these come from, these are in your kit, these foam pieces, you can use those too. We are going to need foam or I say either or. So here's the, here's the, this is just one of each color from the, from your kit. It's got, let's see, I have, yeah, from that, from the big blue box. Um, these are the, and you can use these whenever I say construction paper. I will try to remember to say construction paper or foam because you can use both interactively, interchangeably within this project. So you can use either or both separate, together, however you want to do it. So there's that guy. And then we are going to need some um, paint. I've got the Creatology paint pots here. Uh, we're going to need, the colors you're going to get here is black. You're going to need red and blue because they make purple. And white, so we can make our stars, but it also lightens the purple a little bit, kind of helps with the mixing of the colors to get the purple. So. Those are the colors you'll need, the yellow and the brown that are included in there. You don't need them unless you want to use it, but that's up to you. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to set them aside, but that's up to you. Um, you'll need some paintbrushes. So any paintbrushes will work. And um, you'll need some markers. And I have, I just have, I've pulled these out. These are just the basic colors with the item in the material list that we gave. Now in your kit, I'm gonna ask, go ahead and pull out your liquid glue. Now mine looks a little bit bigger because I messed up my little one. So it's the same thing. If you can see, it's just one small, it comes in your kit. This is the size that comes in your kit. This is what I'm gonna use. So if it gets confusing, that's why. So the same thing, I just messed mine up. So, um, and then you need a glue stick. If you don't have creatology, Elmer school glue. And to be honest, this guy will work too for both. So if you don't have this, you can use this. If you don't have this, this will be a little bit difficult, but not impossible. Okay, so we've got both of those. So if we can, see, so is that everything? Let's see. Now in your craft kit, you'll need some pom-poms. I already mentioned the foam. I only brought the foam up separate from the craft kit because I was trying to let you know about, you could use either one of these guys. So, um, but in your craft kit, you, you can go ahead, if you wanna go ahead and pull out some pom-poms, some wiggle eyes, um, foam, a little sequin pack. If you want to use a sequin pack or there's um, a gem sticker, I'm playing with mine too. I'm like looking over <laughs> um, gem stickers that look like this in there. And I know this, the color is not great. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Maybe that is, maybe that's okay. Okay. Um, and then what else do we need? What else do we need? Um, if you want to use some of the foam shapes for your aliens and stuff, go ahead and pull those out. If not, because I'm going to make my own, because that's just the way I'm rolling today. So there's that. And I think that's everything that we're going to need, but keep your kit handy, just in case you want to get something else out of there, because something else draws your attention. Like the you know, glitter glue is also fun too. You can pull these glitter glue sticks out. These guys, that was not a very good shot. Sorry. You've got all of these glitter glue. Oh, I'm dropping them glitter glue pins. So we can go ahead and get started. 
So if you want to, I guess I'm am I already, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna put these aside. I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not, but. Okay, um, one thing I, I failed to mention, and I just want to, to um, probably take a minute and run to your kitchen and get some paper towels. If you don't have paper towels, get some paper towels. The other thing you're gonna need is a little cup of water so you can clean your paintbrush. So if you don't have that, run really quick, but walk back so, so uh, water doesn't go everywhere. Um, and um, I will just kind of just talk about a little bit while you go do that. I'll give you just a few minutes. So we're just, um, we're gonna make this, this alien art and we're gonna start by painting a piece of um, piece of paper from the paint pad. I didn't say the paint pad, did I? Paint pad, paint pad. This paper is just really cool. It's just a heavier paper. If you don't have, if you don't have a paint pad, you can use printer paper. You can use cardstock. You can use a piece of construction paper. It just won't be as thick, but that's okay. I mean, I don't think that's a big deal. Um, so, so I'm going to start with a piece from. I just pulled it out of my paint pad and paint paint paper pad sorry if you have a canvas that works you know anything that you can paint on if you have a plastic or a paper bag you know cut your big piece out whatever you got um and we can get started on our alien guy so as i mentioned we are going to need to first start with making purple okay so these colors I'm gonna put this kind of aside. These colors make purple, this lightens it, okay? So we're just gonna make, and I'm just gonna do it like right here on the side. If you have a paper plate, you can put it on a piece of paper. I'm hoping that you have that close. Um, I actually, am, I lied. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna use, I have this little palette paper. That way I'm not having to change a bunch of stuff while I'm on camera. Okay, so just shake them up. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of, each color out. And I'm just gonna use my paint brushes to scoop them out. I'm gonna save my big one for when I'm using the black, just because I don't wanna sit here and mess with cleaning it in the middle of our class um, beyond what's in the water. So I'm just going to take some blue. Now the purple is really just going to be a um, accent to our background. What we're doing is we're making our space, our outer space. Now we're gonna do mainly black and we're gonna have little hints of purple in there. Um, you're also gonna have some white because we're gonna make stars, but we're also gonna use white to lighten our purple, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a dab and just stick it on my paper plate or more whatever, whatever you're working with. And I'm just gonna set that aside because I'm gonna grab some of it for, I'm a multi-purpose here. Okay, let me see. Now we need to add some red to our blue. Okay, and I just, I, I'm just taking it out of here. Um, and then I'm going to just mix. And if you can see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here so I'm not in my hands, not in the way. I'm just gonna stir it up. I'm getting red all over my hand because this pot is right here. Okay, I'm just gonna stir it up. And you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. And um, our lovely hostess for the day will be helping me out by letting me know that there is a question. Okay, so that purple is nice and dark. I know the, the color is kind of not great with this lighting, but trust me, it's nice and dark purple. Um, if you like that dark purple, keep it. You don't need the white. I like a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of white. I'm gonna do it from this angle here. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of white and mix it in just to lighten it up a little bit. But again, it's up to you. I mean, you don't even have to do purple if you want to. If you wanna do yellow, do yellow. If you want red, do red. This is your painting, do it how you want. We are flexible or creative. Have fun with this. This is a lot, really fun project. Um, okay. So now that I have my purple, um, I want to. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna put all these little. Sorry, I try to keep my area fairly clean because the space is limited with my camera. So, okay. So I'm going to start with black, and um, and if you want to pour a little bit out on your you know, on your side surface, that's fine because if you're doing some mixing with the 
if you're going to pick it up, I tend to not do that. Um, what, what I mean by that is you, you start with, you know, you start painting black on your paper and then you can pick up some purple. So I just picked up some purple and kind of mixed it in as I'm going, as I'm doing. So it's mainly black, but you'll see hints of purple. I actually like to go in after I get the black down. So that's, that's the way I do it. So it's up to you how you want to do it. If you want to kind of experiment like I just did, you can't really see the little bit of mess that I made with the purple. For me, it was a little bit of a mess, but really what I do is I kind of, I just paint my black on and where there's some, um, see some of these white streaks that are coming through from the pay, from the background paper. That's where I start with my black, with my purple in a little bit. Now this paint, uh, paint paper grabs that paint and it, it dries fairly quickly. I was really surprised. So I am just going to get all these color, all this down, all this black down, this black paint. And it doesn't have to be perfect and just, you know, back and forth, you know, leave some spaces for your purple or you can put your purple right on top of it. It'll work, trust me. And if we need to, we can put a splash of white to make that purple work. So as you can see, I'm almost, I'm about, I don't know, three fourths the way done with my painting. And see, this is the this is the fun easy part. You get to get messy on the on your work surface. If my kids could only see me now. Okay. As we're going through here, so I'm gonna finish up here. And I know this gets really tight with your finger at the bottom corner. But there we go. And see, I've got some white or some blank spaces kind of throughout. And then I'm going to put my paintbrush in the water. Even if you don't clean your paintbrush right away, put it in a cup of water so it doesn't run your paintbrush because this does dry fairly quickly. Okay, so I have my black down. Everyone have their black down? I know you can't answer me, but just you can nod and I'll pretend I see you. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back through with my purple. And because I used this other paintbrush to mix the purple, I'm just going to use it, you know, to, to add purple to. If you don't want to do that, you can use the same one that you had the black, you know, black on, black with. And that's probably, that may even work out better. And I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to kind of paint. And I use those, like I said, I use those white spaces kind of as my guide, kind of the in-between from the back. And I'm just going to add some accents of, of purple. It doesn't have to be perfect. However you want your skies to be. And if you want to use some of the black, hang on, let me let me get this paintbrush and I'll show you. Where's my paper towel? Because I just stuck it in water, like I said I did, and it's all wet. Okay, so there's a little bit of black. Well, yeah, there's a little bit of black on here already. You can pick up. Let's see, I'm pick up some of this black. You can pick up some of the purple, and it'll just kind of, you know, work its way through. Oops. And I'm just kind of thinning it out a little bit. But I mean, it's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this brush because it was just easier right here. And then once you get all your purple down that you want, like I said, it can be, and if, again, if purple is not the color you chose, that's fine. If you're doing yellow, if you're doing red, if you made pink, um, I know this paint set is more to the basics, but you can mix paints to get other colors, like we did this purple. And um, the paint pad paper is really cool because it dries fairly quickly and it is, and it does kind of, it does a nice matte smooth, smooth um, dry, if that matters to you. It doesn't really matter to me if it's glossy or matte, but it's kind of, it's kind of nice once you see it. And if you think, oh, I got too much purple, you can go back in with a little bit of black later if you want to, but I am not going to worry about that on mine. Okay, so there's my start of my galaxy, but what am I missing? I'm missing stars, right? We're missing stars. Okay, so remember I set my white aside and I was like, oh, we'll probably come back to that in a minute. I have a little bit of white here on the side here. I'm going to get my paintbrush wet with water. Okay, and then I know you couldn't really see it, but all I did was shake it around in water. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the of the of the white, and kind of, and then just kind of stir it over on the side so it gets like kind of puddly. Got a little purple in there, but it's alright because my water is kind of dirty. 
from the other two colors. And then you're gonna flick. You're just gonna hold your paintbrush over it kind of high. You don't want it super high because you don't want paint to go everywhere. Um, your mom may not be happy with me if I'm promoting paint speckles everywhere. But um, what I'm doing, if you can see here, I'm making little stars. And I think this really kind of finishes off the, it makes this look so much more out spacey, if that's a word. Um, we doing all right? Do we have any questions? And not yet. No questions really, but if you are still painting black or purple, don't worry. That's okay. Yes, yes. I will I will kind of pause here for a minute and then kind of just talk through again what we did. Um, especially if you just were able to join us. Okay. So if you were just able to join us, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit so everyone can kind of you know get caught up. I know I, I tend to be I talk fast and I'm trying not to talk fast. And, and when I'm doing that, my hand goes fast. So um, so what I did was again, just a quick recap. I took a piece of paint, uh, paint paper from the paint paper pad. That's a tongue twister. And um, painted it black with the Creatology paint pots here. Um, we mixed red and yellow. I'm sorry, red and yellow, where is that? Red and blue to get purple. And then I added a little bit of white to mine to lighten it up a little bit. But I, as I mentioned, any color works. Uh, however you want to do it, you can make pink, you can make whatever. Um, and um, then I just went through and added some purple on top of the black just to give it kind of a cool galaxy vibe. And then I took a smaller paintbrush, got it wet, and um, diluted the, some, some white paint. And then just flicked it, held it over my paper like this, and then just you can thump it or you can tap it, you know, whatever works for you. Uh, thumping it sometimes hurts my nails, so don't always do that. So I'm going to move this paint out of the way so I have some room so I can slide this over so it can dry. Now I'm just going to slide this off camera for a minute so it can dry while we while I work on the components. But no, we will bring it, we will see it again shortly. Oh, okay. So if we need a few more minutes for painting, as it's been, we've probably painted for um, like five, seven minutes. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk a little bit while you guys um, finish doing your painting. Um, again, this paint paper pad dries really quick. It grabs that paper, grabs that paint, and it does um, kind of a, a matte look. So it's a really pretty look. Um, Let's see, what else can I talk about? I can just give, uh, we can just talk a little bit about what's coming. Okay, so we are making um, some, some aliens. You can make constellations with stars if you want to. I have a moon in mind, so I'm gonna make a moon again. Um, I have a planet, you can make planets. Um, what else is in the sky? You can make a NASA space shuttle if you want to. Um, whatever you wanna do. And we're doing that out of, I'm using a combination of construction paper and foam sheets. The foam sheets are in your blue case. Construction paper was a separate purchase. If you only bought the case, then you can use the foam sheets for everything if you don't have um, uh, construction paper. If you only have construction paper, you don't have the felt of the foam, you can use construction paper for everything when we're making these things. That either one is fine. Um, I'm going to bring my sample back over here. Um, I, you know, the aliens are made out of pom poms, but other than that, I mean, this is this is all construction paper. This is construction paper and foam. This is foam and construction paper. This is construction paper. Like I said, you could do all construction paper, all foam. Either one works. Um, so don't don't uh, worry if you only have one or the other. You can do it, it works either way. We can get the same super cute look. Um, I've pulled out a few things from the from the kit that I'm planning on using that I typically use, um, which are the um, these are shapes. These are just shapes, and you know they already have stars, so that's kind of cool. So we can put stars and more stars. I like our white splash stars, but we can also put you know maybe make a Halley's comet or something. That'd be kind of cool. So anyways, there's your stars. Um, if you want to use those, um, sequin. If you want to use them to decorate your spaceships, that's you know it's up to you. Um, the stickers, the rhinestone stickers to use um, to decorate your uh, spaceships, you could do that too. Um, they're already sticky on the back, so you don't have to worry about glue. 
um, pom poms or aliens. And then I lost my wiggle eyes. Where my wiggle eyes go? I just had them. It's probably there. It is. He was hiding under my other project drawing. Um, wiggle eyes, very important for aliens. You can have your alien can have one. Your alien can have five. Whatever you want to do. Um, okay. So to start our to start our um, a, or you know start decorating. Think of the things that you want to put in your in your space scene. So I'm going to start, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to start with, I'm going to make a moon and I have these little pieces of construction paper I had left over from an earlier project. So I'm just going to recycle and use what I have. And you can, if you have, you know, if you have one of the, your markers, you can draw like your, your moon shape and then cut it out. Or you can just go rogue and just start cutting which is kind of my style, but not always. It just depends on what it is. So I'm just cutting out my moon and I didn't, and I didn't want the black outlining. So I'm just going around it on the inside. And um, my, my uh, background painting, I just happened to glance over is already almost dry. I mean, I can see a little bit in the light, the little bit of, um, Little bit of wetness, but overall it's just about dry. So that was that was pretty quick. So I have a moon. Of course, you can always turn it upside down if you don't want that um, those colors to show. Um, and I'm gonna keep this because I might use more of it. I'm gonna keep it just to the side. So I have a I have a moon. What else do I want in my in my um, space? Anybody, if anyone has any suggestions. I'm not that great with scissors, but I'm okay. So, I mean, nothing too crazy, but if you want to see me do something kind of fun, like how about a tail, like on a comet? I don't know if this is what a tail comet looks like, but this is what I envision it looking like. And it will get better than, than this, I promise. So I'm just going to, and use your markers to another, awesome tool in your um in the in the material list that we sent for this so that's supposed to simulate like whoosh, i don't know I, I hear it in my head so and then i'm going to grab one of the stars from my set here i'm gonna grab a big one i'm gonna go blue oh, come on. and kind of put it over so it's like coming out of the star so that's my comment you believe that's a comment <laughs> kind of a silly comment but you know what this is my silly picture so i like it so we have a comment um let's see i want to plan it i like planets i think i'm going to do a purple planet and i'm going to make it kind of big because why not right so i'm just going to cut and it's not going to be i'm just cutting a circle remember on that on the moon i um drew it out i'm totally not drawing this one out if you want a better you know you have a better way of cutting a circle or let me give you a couple of ideas of a better way to cut a circle if you want it a little bit more round if you have something that is round for example a cup put it down trace it then pull the cup away cut your circle so that's a quick and easy little tip on how to a better planet than I did if you want a better plant than I did but I like my kind of odd shape planet here okay and then because one of my favorites is Saturn I'm going to make I don't want to do it on orange since I already have orange here for my little comet thing actually yeah I'm gonna put some glitter glue in that that, that would be really cool I'll come back to that um I want to make I want to make a ring I'm gonna make a ring around my around my uh, my planet here. So I'm gonna use a foam sheet, and I will repeat. If you do not have foam, you can do this out of construction paper. Still will look amazing. And if you only have foam, you can do all of this out of foam, and it will also look amazing. I'm going to see my size. I just measured my size across there, and then I'm just going to make it kind of. It's going to be kind of like a. We're gonna call it a faux ring. It's just going to go across the front, but I want enough space in the right ring here so I can add some fun blingy decorations. 
cut that just some rounding it off for whatever reason just to me it sounds like it should be and i'm always keeping all my scraps so you'll see like all my scraps kind of around that's because i use i may use them for something in the project and i don't like to waste stuff so i am always using product and pieces i'm trying to see what angle i want this at i want to be able to see the bottom but i want it yeah i like that I think that looks good so i'm going to use my glue stick if you only have the glue that came with the um, kit, that works. I'm just gonna use the glue stick because it is conveniently right in front of me. Okay, I'm just going to attach it how I planned it. And then I'm gonna put some sequin pieces. So I'm gonna get a little cup so my so it's easier to clean up later. Here, I'm just gonna pour some of these out. Um, so I have it the sequins, not quite like glitter, but not too far off. I'm going to just pick a couple of colors. Oh no, you guys are going everywhere. They're kind of staticky, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm staticky, and I'm gonna add some sparkle to my planet, to the rings, because why not? And I'm not really being too picky about what I put on here because I like lots of colors and I'm just gonna be colorful. And then let's see, I don't want any of those colors, hold on. Well, what else do I want? I want a lighter. I mean, it seems like I need a lighter color, but I don't see a lighter one in there. Hmm, that's okay. I'll stick with what I have. Or maybe I'll do a green. I don't have a green. What do you think? I think green's good. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move this purple guy down a little bit and then put the green in between. Okay. What do you think? I like it. Okay. So then what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to slide these off and I'm going to take my glue from the kit and I'm going to just add some little bitty dots and that's where I put the sequin back on. And don't worry if you can see this, the, the, if the glue comes through the little hole in the top of your sequins, if you're choosing sequins, um, it'll dry clear. And my little trick here, I'm getting my finger wet and it helps pick up the, pick, pick up your sequin. Yep. So yeah, I'm a little bit of a mess here, but like I said, it will dry clear. So do not worry. Do not worry, do not fret. It will be clear and fabulous. Okay, so there's my planet. Now I'm gonna make my aliens. Okay, um, and I'm going to use I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a kind of a combination of foam and construction paper. Um, you feel free to do the same or use one or the other. Where did the let's see? Where did my purple go on here? I like to. I don't have to be this specific, but today I guess I do. My mind is just on a mission to have everything done, however it wants to be done. Okay, so I'm going to. I think I'm gonna do an, excuse me, I'm gonna do a pink alien spaceship. Okay, so you can do your spaceships any way you wanna do. I'm gonna follow my fabulous friend and coworker designer who created this project originally and do kind of the, you know, do the saucer and then like the, the chair back, if you will. So I'm gonna do an oval. I'm gonna cut an oval. And then I'm gonna cut, kind of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, like another oval, but it's only half, like a semi-oval. I don't know if that's really a, a, a shape. I know there's a semi-circle, but I don't know if there's a semi-oval. So we're going to call it a semi-oval. Um, I'm making stuff up here. I'm going to do construction paper saucer, but then I'm going to use foam to make his little chair and the little feet on the bottom of the, um, so of the little UFO, okay? So I'm going to start with the saucer. Um, and again, you can use a marker. I'm going to use yellow just because it's a lighter color and I don't want to see through it. Um, 
And I'm just going to draw my oval saucer, the big old saucer in it. It's all right. Um, and you don't have to draw it. I just do this time. You know, last time on my planet circle, I wanted my planet to be a little bit more natural, I guess. I don't know if planets are exactly circle or spheres, I think. I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm going to cut out my saucer here. Still doing okay out there? Yeah, we're getting some great ideas that people are what people are adding to their artwork. Some people are adding the sun, constellations. Love it. Good deal. Well, we, we want to see your projects too. Hashtag, um, you know, uh, have your parents help you or guardian help you um, and hashtag your projects with um, make it with Michael's, hashtag Michael's classes, hashtag Michael's kids club. We'd love to see them. We'd love to see these guys, you know, your, your fantastic artwork. And I would love to see what you did. Just personally, I think it's really cool. I'm going to grab another color so I can do another sauce. So what color have I not I don't really want to do green right now. I'm going to think I'm one of my aliens, maybe green. Hmm. <laughs> um, let's do, I'll do yellow. Why not? Okay. And does the saucer have to be oval? No, it can be any shape you want. Um, I'm going to do, let me see. Let's go and let's do something different. I'm going to do, <laughs> let's see if I can draw a hexagon. I don't know if I can. We'll see. Hexagon's five, right? Yeah. Hex is five. Is that right? Um, so stop sign octagon, maybe? Maybe I'll do an octagon. It's a little bit easier to do for me. It may not be, may not be an easy shape, but it's the second side that I always get tripped up. So I'm going to show you a trick to fix that. Like fold this. I drew it. I drew it. Ignore this side. I just drew it on here. So what I'm going to do now is see it's folded and it's folded on the line. I'm going to follow the, these lines here that I drew. Oh, my finger's stuck in this. And then voila. Um, it's not perfection, but close enough. Okay. So there's my little shape there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, octagon. So this is going to be my, um, I'm going to have an octagon saucer and an oval saucer because why not? Okay. Then here's a little chair I'm going to do with foam sheets. So I'm going to do a, probably a purple. And then I'm going to do just a semi, I guess it's like a semi, um, oval chair. So I'm just going to have this here so I can kind of gauge the size that I want it to be. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, that's kind of a theme I say a lot because it doesn't. This is your artwork. You can do it as, as great as you want. And, you know, for your project is awesome because you took the time to do this today because this is so much fun. I don't know about where you guys live, but it is hot here in Texas. And this is much more fun than being sweating outside, in my opinion. All right, so here's a little chair back. Or maybe I'll put that one on here. It can go on here too. And this, I'm gonna make it kind of red sideways because huh, that's fun. Okay, what color then on this one? And here, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna draw it out. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go for it. I kind of wanted a little bit taller back on that one and a little bit wider. So I think I'm going to use a bigger pom pom. I think I'm going to use two different sizes of pom pom. So I'm going to round this out a little bit better because it's just the way I want it, want it to be. Most of it's going to be covered with pom pom anyway. So you really only see a little bit of it sticking up. So ta da. I, and I'm, I haven't glued anything down because I'm just assembling and playing. Um, I okay, so I will need some little feet for my for under my see use scraps. It's fun. Underneath my um 
saucers. So I'm probably going to just do so like it can land when he wants to land when they want to land. Ta da! Easy. And then I just made it match the chair. <laughs> he's 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 very very great at decorating his. By him I mean my alien. Um, decorating his UFO. So, and then I'm gonna stick these under here. Cause again, I'm just assembling still. Do I like it? Yeah, I think it looks perfectly fine. These guys are a little skinny. I'm think I'm, I think I need a little bit thicker ones here. That is just my, my OCD here. Um, okay, probably didn't need them that thick, but that's okay. I kind of like it. Oh, I wanna do it this way. Yeah, if you cut one angle, one that's kind of a weird angle and you're like, oh, I'm not real happy with that, just put it on the inside. Easy. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my artwork over and then I'm going to start gluing this stuff down and then we'll add our aliens last, like the actual alien beings last with our pom-poms. And then well, I'll say last, it'll be second to last. Then we'll decorate our UFO saucers if we want to. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of sh shuffle, shuffle these over. Oh, and I was going to put some hot, um, glitter glue on that. I will remember to do that. Okay. Here is our lovely thing is all dry. I, for some reason, there's one like glob of paint right here. So I'm just going to wipe it away. So it's dry. Okay. So now I'm just going to, and I'm going to kind of look at the way I want to do it. I'm moving it around because I see a bigger black spot here, which seems like a good spot for my planet. Now that's just me and the way I was, you know, was thinking. Um, so I'm just going to kind of place these around and see how I best want to attach it. And then I will glue it down once I get it all on here the way I want it. And then I, I will put, and then our little comet, or should our comet be coming up through here? Let me move my, the moon's gonna be low. There we go. I, like, I, I think that looks good. All right, so I'm just going to start gluing these things down. I'm just going to you know, shuffle them over like I did earlier. And I'm using the glue, the glue pin from the kit. Or the one just like it. If you notice, mine's a little bit longer. It's because I broke mine from my kit. OK, and then how did I have that kind of angle up? Oh. Come on, stay there. You can use the glue stick for this, or you can use the wet glue. Uh, wet glue has a little bit stronger hold, but this definitely is convenient to doing it quick because it doesn't take as long to dry. Um, so whatever works for you. I'm gonna kind of, I'm probably just gonna kind of teeter back and forth for whatever kind of feels right at the time. I always think glue stick paper, I don't know why, foam. Lip, uh, wet glue again I don't know why just my own thought process oh, okay this little guy here wants to move around so I'm going to fix him so he doesn't do that anymore there we go and then add some glue to the back of that put the, put the little little chair back on. Okay. Now this one I'm going straight on here because I don't want to turn it over because I already put the stuff on on my ring. So that's the only reason I did that because I already I put the stuff on the ring on there and I didn't want it to crush it. Okay. Now this is a sticker already so that's cool. Put my star on my comet. I'm gonna see if this, see if I like this better.
Yep, that worked a little bit better. The um, stick glue works a little bit better putting those little legs on there. But the wet glue will be important when we are putting down our aliens. So I'm going to save the save the um, glitter glue for last because I don't want to actually hit it and mess it up and get stuff everywhere. So that's something I would do. Okay, I'm going to make so now aliens. Aliens are fun. Aliens are pom poms and wiggle eyes. Simple. Um, you can add, you know, the chenille stems that we have in the kit. And you make antennas if you want to. Um, you can, you know, I'm trying to think of some other ideas. Um, tissue paper. If you don't have pom poms, you can you can cut circles out of your construction paper or your foam. I mean, you can continue to build up on here. Um, so, you know, just whatever works. This alien is kind of tiny. I don't want a tiny one. I want a big alien. I want a big old alien. Okay. So I'm just kind of puffing him out a little bit. Trying to get a little flat spot too. I can... He wants to sit in his chair. So the liquid glue will come in very handy right here. I'm just gonna make a little puddle. And I'm popping this on there. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna do three dots straight across. And hopefully my, is that wide enough for my wiggle eyes? These also tend to be a little bit staticky, so be patient when trying to get them out of the bag there. He wants to stick to me. Go off, there we go. Now, am I gonna do the same size? I don't know, let's find out. I'm just adding glue to the back of this guy. Hoping that will help a little bit because those glue kind of got sunk in there. Sunk into the pom-pom. And then I'm going to do put it on there. And remember what I said about the glue, don't worry about it. If you see it, it will dry clear. See on this one, you can already see it's dry and clear. So one alien, yay. Okay, my other alien. I don't think I wanna do green with this chair green. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do it. Oh, that blue wants to join the party. Move it over here. Okay, so now we have, I'm gonna do the same thing, kind of just kind of fluff them around and then doing a flat spot. And then I'm gonna, I'm getting low on glue on here. I'm gonna use this glue a lot. It's a great glue, I really do use it a lot. Okay. Getting everywhere here. Okay. All right. So now it comes to the eyes on this one. He's going to have two eyes. Cute. Um, okay, so I think I need something else. I think he does, they do need like antennas or something. So in your kit, there are some Chanel stems. There's sparkly ones, and that's what I'm gonna use. I am going to use a little bit of purple. And I'm just gonna cut with my scissors, just easy. I'm gonna fold it in half. And just to be extra fancy, I'm taking one of my paintbrushes, wrap it around. So it's a little bit of a coil and stretch it. You'll see it better here in just a minute when I'm get it against the background here. Shape it 
kind of looks like horns. It was not my intent. Hang on, let me get this one curled again. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do the whole thing, then fold it in half. <clears throat> oh yeah, much better. Okay, so then add some glue just behind him. And the wet glue will probably work better with this part also. Um, and I'm kind of shaping it so I have a flat kind of, if you see it, well, it's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of like a shelf. And then that's what I'm gonna stick in the glue there. And they can be straight, they can be curly, they can be one, you can do a horn, you can do a, take two and wrap it around, make a unicorn, a unit, unit alien, a unicorn alien, if that's what you want. Okay, so there is that. Now I'm just gonna add some last, Fini last little finishing touches, like uh, I'm gonna add some stickers to his. He didn't really have a lot of room on his, so I'm gonna leave his alone. He doesn't like he doesn't like bling on his. I will say. Okay, so I'm just gonna go red, green, yellow, which almost looks like a stop sign or a light, traffic light. Come on, there we go. And then I'm gonna go, I'll just repeat it. Oops, we stuck to my hand. Red, green, yellow. It's nice that these are already sticky, so that's fun. Okay, so we have that. Let me put my little sticker away. Are we on time? We got good. We got about ten more minutes, roughly twelve more minutes. Um, don't forget to take a picture of your project when you are done, and and have a, a family um, a guardian help upload your pictures and hashtag them at hashtag Make It With Michaels. Hashtag Michael's classes and or Michael's Kids Club. Um, so now I'm going to add a little bit of flair with the glue, glitter glue. Let's see, what am I going to put through? Maybe I'm just going to kind of, I just want to add a little bit of sparkle. Um, and even though this is orange on orange, I think it's going to do the trick. So just I just want a little bit of shine. And then let's see. Add a little bit more. Maybe I'll just color it in. There we go. I'm just using the tip here to color it in. You can use paintbrush if you want to do that. I'm just using the tip here to kind of color over it just to add some shine and sparkle to my little. Now glitter glue does take a little bit to dry. So just be patient with it. It will dry eventually. And it looks like it's smearing my, my marker a little bit. Um, you can use markers to decorate your planet. If you want more stuff on your planet to decorate your star. Like I want, if I want to do a like an interior kind of star like an embellishment on the inside of my star. And the markers are fantastic. Are a great little addition to, the star's getting kind of um, disproportioned, but anyway, you can do that. And then if you want, you can, you know, add a little dot or something like that. That's pretty. I like it. Um, or if you want to draw, I don't know, a smiley face on your moon. Or your sun. You can do that. Um, you can 
you know, there's all kinds of things that you can do. So use your, use your elements in your kit to finish embellishing your scene however you want. If you want to add, I mean, the sequence would be great to add kind of around if you wanted additional uh, star looking pink, you know, pieces, elements, or the stars in your foam uh, shapes uh, set that, that came with your box kit. Um, this box kit is a great, it is a really, really cool um, item. If you don't have one, I would highly suggest you, um, you know, it, 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 it's just got everything great in it to, to do uh, so many projects. Um, I know that the rest of the summer classes are really cool and we use the same kit throughout. So it's, um, you buy one at the beginning, you know, at the beginning and you can do all of the projects with the one kit. So um, that's actually what we did when we designed these projects is we all shared one kit and went through and used it so that we knew that you guys would have the same experience. So um, I hope you enjoyed this class today. I know we're a little bit early. So if there's any questions, I'm just going to say thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. It was fun. I love my alien. I'll have to take it to my mom's house and see if she, it's refrigerator. My daughter is 16 and she still does that. So I think I can do that. Um, and um, don't forget to hashtag your project so we can see what they look like. And I'll get, run through them again real quick. Um, hashtag make it with Michaels. Hashtag Michaels classes and or hashtag Michaels kids club. You can do all three. You can pick one. You can do randomly two. We just we just love to see what you've done. Love to see your scenes, especially with all the different elements that you can find in space. Um, I think it would be really cool to see what you guys have, uh, what you guys came up with. So thank you so much. And if you have any questions, I can stick around a little bit. Um, and I, you know, I can answer anything that you guys have. Looks like we don't have any questions, but there were some people asking about uh, the class on Monday. Do we know what the class is? I don't have a schedule in front of me. It is pom-pom animals on Monday. Pom-pom animals. Okay, give me just one second. I'm gonna go look at, see what that looks like. And then um, what are the, what's the question? Well, they just want to know what we were making, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so give me just People are excited to join us for the rest of the cramp creatology classes. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Give me just one second. I'm going to, I'm just moving screens here. And so I can answer this because it's been, you know, we, we make the, these projects so much in advance so we can do the marketing and get it out to you guys. Um, so I am just going to refresh my memory. You said it was animal. Pom pom animals. Pom pom animals. Okay. Let's see where those guys are. Oh, I don't see a project called pom pom animals. Um, hmm. let's see, let me change this to palm. I found the link, so I'll put it in the chat. So everyone, even though you can't talk in the chat, you should be able to see it. Oh, perfect. And then can I, can I, yeah, you said I could, I'll be able to see it. Oh, is it the fantasy creatures? Yes. Okay. Got them. Okay. I guess they, the names changed, um, after they left my system. So I'm pulling up a picture of, oh, I don't know why my pictures are not pulling up very well, but I can see it. Um, so the, these are, um, if, if you're able to put something like a visual in, or at least the link that they, that these, the project is online, should be live online. So you can see a list, a little bit bigger picture. Um, if you put in pom-pom with -pom, a hyphen in the search, then fantasy characters, then you will get, um, you will get a picture on our website. And so basically it's, it's very similar to these um, aliens where you, you're using you know, the parts from your box to create animal, any kind of animals. Now it looks like she's got um, a unicorn and a dragon in her samples, um, but they can be any, they can totally create your own character. This is, it's just, it's a fantasy character. So many different um, ideas out there, but you, you're using um, wiggle eyes, pom-poms, foam, uh, Chanel, the, the Chanel stems, maybe. It looks like, instead of the sparkle ones, it looks like they're using uh, maybe some of these from your set or these. Um, 
I think it'd be fun to use these sparkly, bright kind of fun pom poms. Um, yeah, so, and I'm not sure who's teaching that class, but um, the people who have been teaching are awesome. So um, you will learn a lot and, uh, and have a good time. So that's, that is Monday. Is that what you said, Monday? Yes. Yeah, sorry, I don't have to schedule in front of me. Um, <laughs> I, I should have, I actually stepped in for somebody today who was unable to teach. So, um, I hope I didn't fumble it too much. So, <laughs> so, but this is fun. This is fun for me. I love, I love doing this. I love teaching you guys and, and crafting with you guys and, and seeing what you guys make. So. Okay. I think that is all of our questions. Great. So we hope that you'll join us on Monday, everyone. Yep. Thank you.